happy Friday. Well, it is a beautiful, beautiful Friday morning. And as I sat in my comfy, cozy chair, sipping my coffee this morning in my jammies, I looked around the house and I was like, what are we gonna decorate today, Liz? What are we gonna do? And as I sat there, I was like, looking at my hutch and I said, ah, oh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna decorate you for fall and make you beautiful. So that's what we're doing today. So for those of you who may be new to my channel, about this time last year, I went to an estate sale in my neighborhood. And when I walked in, it was like, oh, all the angels were singing. And I saw this beautiful piece. I had always, always wanted a Tuscan looking hutch. So when I saw that, this girl made a beeline for it. And I'll tell you what, as I stood there looking at this piece, there were two sides of Liz. It was like, it was a battle, a decor battle in my head. And the place was swarming with people. And this Liz said, oh, look at that piece. That's so beautiful. I must have it. I have to get it. It's so beautiful. I need it. I want it. I have to have it. And so there was that Liz. And then there was this Liz. Liz, what are you thinking, girl? This piece is Tuscan. Your sunroom is farmhouse. You can't mix the two. Absolutely not. And this, so this side was like, oh, we're getting it. And this side was like, oh, no, you're not. Mm -mm. No, you're not. You're farmhouse. So it was a battle. It was a battle in Liz's head. And ultimately, this Liz won. She said, you know what? The heck with it. The heck with it. We're getting it and we're going to put farmhouse in it and we're going to make it work. So that's what I did. So throughout the year, it was kind of like a love-hate relationship with this piece because I love decorating it, don't get me wrong. But when you walk into this room, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the black sheep, the black sheep of the family. You know what I mean? It stands out. It's like, whoa, that does not mesh with all this farmhouse. And I've got a shabby chic French country piece over there. So, you know, it's a mix in here. But I'm going to show you today how to make it work. How to make a piece work. If you have an affinity for Tuscan decor or Tuscan pieces, I'm going to show you, you can mix the two and make it work and make it look beautiful. All right, enough of me yapping. Let's get decorating. I've, I've got, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just aching to get this decorated for fall. I need to add some earthy, beautiful, warm colors. So this is what we're starting out with. Here's the hutch, emptied out and ready to go. So do any of you like Williams Sonoma? I know, I do too, I do too but I don't like their prices. So I really don't shop that store. However, when I was at the estate sale, these pieces were sitting in there. That's why it was like, oh, because when I saw those pieces, you know, fall's my favorite season. I, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that set and I have to have the hutch. Okay, so that's where we're going. I'm gonna go get those pieces and then we're gonna decorate the bottom shelf first. So I am going to put this right here, right in the center. And to that, look what I have. This is the William Sonoma piece. Yep. And isn't this cute? This is so cute. And I'm just going to sit this right up top. You know what, if I can find some raffia, I might put some raffia under there. Hold on. Okay, so I didn't have raffia, but I did have this, like filler material. And I think I'm just gonna set it right here. Let me point you down so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this material right in there. Kind of fluff it out and it's going to make a little bit of a mess but i don't care and now i'm going to take my pretty pumpkin and set it in here wait i need to pull some more of this out 
I want it to be perfect. I want it to look messy. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. I think that looks super cute. All right, so look at this cute little piece. Isn't that cute? So I've got this piece and another one. And let me show you the other one. Isn't that cute? So I have these two. I mean, these colors, hello, do they not say fall? Do they not say fall? So anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is put the yellow one in the back here. I'm gonna put the yellow one back here. And then I'm gonna bring this one here. Maybe like that. So let me go get the other two pieces. So look at this cute William Sonoma piece. And then I also have this one, cute little pumpkin. So I'm gonna put these on the other side. And I think I'm gonna put this one right here. And I'm gonna put this one in the back, right about there. Look how cute this looks, hold on. So look at how cute these little pieces are. They are so cute, I just love them. So guys, you won't believe what happened. My shelf that went right here came crashing down on me yesterday while I was taking something out. I guess the little, like, the little doodad right here that holds the shelf up wasn't in properly and it came crashing down. So I thought, oh my gosh, what to do? What to do? So I came and got my husband and I said, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to like order a piece of glass. And then I thought, I don't wanna do that. So he's like, I'm sure you'll figure out a way to make it work and find balance somehow. So I just ended up taking those pieces of glass out that go right here. And I decided to put a floral arrangement there. All right, so I went down to my storage room and I got these big topiary plants. And y'all know I'm bow challenged, but that's okay. I own it. Anyway, I just tied some of this like fallish ribbon on. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I wanted long tails. I just, I wanted it to look fun. So, and I wanted this splash of like autumn color. So what I'm do is, doing is I'm setting it right in here like that. Let me take you down. And this is kind of what it looks like before I get all the doodads in there. Um, and I'm gonna do that on the other side over here. So I'll do that now. Alrighty, so like I said, this is my way of adding balance. So I've got one there and one there, and now we'll work our way around all this. So I found these cute plates at Home Goods, and they're pretty big, but they look farmhousey. And of course, I love the splash of autumn color, but that's what those this plate looks like, and I think it's super cute. See the acorns and the leaves and the pumpkins. Cute, cute. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put these behind the plate, and I'm doing it just to serve the purpose of seeing a splash of color behind it. And like I said, they're pretty big plates, but um, I like them as a backdrop. But even though you can't really see the plate, I like the splash of color. And so now I'm gonna do it on this side. And I'm gonna put my plate right here. Again, we're doing this to add balance on both sides. And I don't even need a plate holder because it stands up right, you know, straight on the wood back there. So as you can see, there's one there. And then there's one there. So 
Let's move on. So right next to my topiary, I have Mr. Squirrel. Is that not cute? Sitting on top of a pumpkin. And so I'm gonna set him right beside my topiary with this little pumpkin. And so I think it'll be kind of a cute little vignette. So let me see if I can, let's see. I was thinking of putting him here and I kind of want this ribbon just to be kind of flouncy and wispy. And I think that looks really cute. Mr. Squirrel. Now guys, on this side, since I have a squirrel on that side, I think this is a hedgehog. I don't know, tell me. I found, by the way, I found both of these at Ross this week. So. They have the cutest little fall critters. They had foxes and, and hedgehogs and groundhogs and squirrels and, you know, they had all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I have this cute little pedestal that I got from Michael's. I just sat some of that little like filler material on it and then put him on top for fall. And then I've got this little pumpkin. I'm gonna sit behind him next to that topiary. And that's how that little side looks. And so that's how it looks on this side. And then over here, that's how Mr. Squirrel and the pumpkin look on this side. So now down below on the bottom shelf, I have oh, this broke yesterday. I'm telling you the glass broke this, but it's okay because I'm gonna turn it this way. You'll never know, you'll never know. I mean, you guys know, but. No one will ever know. I'm gonna put this, let's see. We wanna make sure that side doesn't show. I'm just gonna set this back here like that. Be right back. And now I got these cute plates from Pier 1 Imports last year, 10.95 for the big plate, 9.95 for the smaller plate. I love Pier 1, but I don't like their prices. Like $10, almost $11 for a plate, please, please, please. Anyway, oh, the places I love, but I can't shop because they're, I rarely go into Pier 1. I always go there for candles because their candles smell good and lanterns and plates. Those are my kind of go-to things that I go there for in, in the hopes that I'll find some on sale, but anyway, um, love these. So I'm going to put these in a plate holder and set these right here for a splash, guys, a splash of autumn color. And then I kind of want this to kind of frame the plate. And then I've got this cute little pumpkin that I got from Walmart. Walmart approved prices and I'm just gonna nestle this in on the side over here And I think that looks kind of cute And that's what it looks like A very symmetrical kind of gal so I had the larger one that would, did not break, and I've got the same kind of greenery in it, and I'm gonna do the same thing I did over there, which is to set it right here. Oh my goodness, this came out. Sorry I have my back to you, how rude. 
And now let's add a plate. And I have a give thanks plate. This plate I've had for a very long time. I got this at Ross years and years ago. And it's been through several moves. So it was kind of funny yesterday, some of the, there was chips on it. And so where the lettering is, they were kind of like white where it, it had chipped. So I just got out, I gave it a good cleaning with my spray weight cleaner. And then I got my Sharpie out and I just drew where on the black, on the little, I can't talk today on the little white chippy pieces and it's as good as new. It's as good as new. And then I've got a little plate stand. So I'm gonna push this back and then I'm just gonna put this one right here. And again, I want the greenery to kind of frame the plate a little bit. Now I need a pumpkin. So I have this little pumpkin and I'm just gonna set this on its side. I don't know, like just like that. Or should I push the plate over? No, I like it like this. And there you have it. All right, guys, now I've got this beautiful, beautiful autumn wreath. Look at those colors. And I am gonna put this up there on the top shelf. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? See, so you guys know I'm a bit, just a bit obsessed with roosters. And I found this one. Where did I get this? Oh, I got it at Home Goods. Yep, that's where I, I think that's where I found it the other day. Yep. Isn't it pretty? And so I decided I'm going to put this rooster up here. Look how cute he looks up there. And to that, I have a floral pick and a wooden acorn. And so I'm gonna put just gonna nestle this pumpkin by his feet. Oh, no, wait, did I do it this way? I think I did it this way. And then I'm just gonna put the, the acorn next to it. So last year I was at Ross and I came across this pretty LED uh, light up pumpkin for $11.99. So that's that's not a bad price at all. I've seen these at Home Goods a little for a little bit more money, maybe a couple bucks more. So I was gonna set this pumpkin up there on the glass. However, then you see the sticker and you see this. And I know some of you will say, just pull the sticker off. Yeah, but then you'll still see this, so it doesn't really matter at this point. So my solution was put it on a little rustic pedestal. This was for Michael's, and I'm just gonna set this up there. Just like that. So guys, this is the last place to decorate on this hutch. And I got this cute little wheelbarrow and I can't remember where I got it. How do you like that? It was either Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. I honestly, you know what? I think it was Home Goods. Don't quote me on that though, but I'm pretty sure it was Home Goods. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna put that on this shelf like this.
Now I could put some cute like hay or straw or raffia in there and have it come out, but I don't, I don't want to create another mess. And so I'm going to improvise today. I have this cute little um, potted plant with ivy and it fits perfectly in here. So I'm going to set it on the wide side, just like that. Stick it in here. And now I'm just going to set a couple of pumpkins in there. So let's see. I'm going to stick this one right here. Just like that. So cute. Sorry for the lighting guys. It's still early morning here on Friday, but I wanted to also share what I've done up top here on top of the hutch. I've got this cute little light going and I've got an owl hiding in amongst the fall florals. And he, they're sitting in a lantern with the door open, which I think is super cute. Then I've got a farmhouse sign right there. And then over here, another lantern, smaller in scale, with the door open and more florals coming out of that. And then a simple garden ball up top. So that's what's going on up above. And then we have everything cute and displayed nicely for fall inside. Guys, well, I have finally got my hutch in the sunroom decorated for fall. Now, it's a little more simplistic than what I would normally do, but that's okay. I mean, we had a shelf break and we had to improvise. So, I sort of kept it a little bit more simple, but I think it works and it's cute. It definitely says fall. So, with that said, you guys got to come back next week because have I got a lot to show you next week. Yesterday... I blasted my jazz music. I like, uh, if you guys have Dish Network and you listen to Watercolors, Smooth Jazz, they play the best music. So I just cranked it and I was going back and forth from room to room, down to my storage room in the basement, taking stuff down, bringing stuff up, having a ball. I, I mean, this is like my season. I just live for fall. I love Christmas too. I like the meaning behind Christmas, but I much prefer decorating for fall over Christmas because it's, they're my colors. It's earthy Tuscan colors that I love so much. So this is, this is me and my element and I'm loving every second of it and I'm loving sharing it with you guys and I hope you're enjoying it. I really do. Uh, but next week, I think we're going to be doing the kitchen, and that is going to be, that may be two days. I don't know. We may try to kick it out in one day, but I've got some cute ideas for there. And I may be doing my home office as well. And we've got the sunroom. i got to finish the sunroom. Oh, and wait till you see what I did in the family room, you guys. Um, I just can't wait to do the fall home tour. It's still gonna be several weeks out, but you guys are gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Just, you gotta just be patient and wait because it's gonna be good, guys. I think it's, it's gonna be way better than last year. If you like last year's, it's gonna be better. Before I go, I would like to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all of my old subscribers and ones in between. You guys are the best. And I have been so touched and humbled by all of your comments. I, I just, I can't believe it. You guys are so sweet and so loving and supportive. I just, when I read through the comments, I'm like, that was so sweet. And then I go down to the next one. I'm like, that was so sweet, you know? And so I just want to thank you guys. And I want you guys to know 
whether you're new or old or in between. Y'all know I'm terrible at responding. I'm just a busy mom. I'm all over the place. I've got a big house to clean. I've got kids. I've got to run around to sports and extracurricular stuff. I've got shopping to do and meals to make and cleaning. And so sometimes there's just not enough time in the day for me to actually sit down and go through every single comment and respond. But I do try to mix it up and say thank you and say welcome to those that are new. And if I don't, please don't be offended. Just please don't because I cherish every single comment. I'm just a busy mom. I hope you guys understand. But I cannot thank you guys enough for your love, your support, and your fun comments. You guys, you guys crack me up. I, I swear to God, when I read through the comments, uh, my husband will hear me belt out a laugh and he'll, what are you laughing at, Liz? And I'm like, oh, this person wrote me the cutest, funniest comment. It just, and then I'll read it to him and he laughs. And then there's some that are just so touching and heartfelt that warm my heart like you have no idea. And I'm just like, and he's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, this was so sweet. So anyway, I'm just a gamut of emotions when I read your comments. Really, you guys are the best. If I could, I'd give you all a big old hug and say thank you. So right now I'm going to say thank you for stopping by and hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm gearing up for next week, guys. It's going to be good. Trust me. And I uh, guess that's it. I guess I'll take the camera down. I'll do a once over on this and we'll close this video out. Oh, one more thing. For all of those in the hurricane's path, I am praying for all of you. And hang in there. Be safe. And um, check in. And let me know you're okay. All right? I'll be praying. One more thing, guys. Sorry. I'm like all over the place today. Uh, to my friend Lucy and her sweet mama, I just want to say I love you guys. And thank you for your friendship. And you guys are the best. Mwah! All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a fabulous weekend. And if you're decorating for fall like I am, have fun doing it. Crank your music. Get a cold drink or warm drink and go room to room and just bring in those beautiful autumn colors and have fun and make it cozy for your family. Trust me, you're going to have fun doing it. All right, guys, I'll see you Monday. Mwah!